It is Sunday morning. Good morning. And I have a. And this show officially kicks off when you see our beautiful faces. Welcome, America. L. Duncan, Matt Berry. And I got to thank it. If Drake ever tweets about us, our last paycheck will be the ensuing Thursday. Oh, no. Stay away. What ensued in St. <laughs> Louis last night, though, was rain. Oh, what? They were looking for a bat, and it was like, oh, I'll see ya. Time now for half hour headlines. And there was a boxing stunner by an Adonis. <laughs> Please stop. Down goes Joshua. It doesn't really have the same uh, ring to it, but in terms of a stunner, what we saw at MSG last night, it didn't pack the same punch, but it was significant. In his first bout on U.S. soil, Anthony Joshua and his three heavyweight belts brought down in the seventh round by that guy, Andy Ruiz Jr., who closes an 11-1 to underdog. That's according to Caesars. A sold-out MSG filled with Brits saw their crown jewel drop twice in the seventh, witnessing history as Ruiz becomes the first fighter of Mexican descent to win a heavyweight world title. Yeah, you did. Um, and Matt, I think more importantly, the huge winner last night, Drake's curse. Because here's a picture from a few weeks ago of Anthony Joshua assuring IG that the curse would be broken. But this curse goes back six years. 2013, Drake's name, the Raptors ambassador, and all they did since then was a choke. Yeah, uh, 2014, Drake warms up with Kentucky before the Final Four. Cats lost to Wisconsin. 2015, Drake just guesting it up for Serena Williams at the U.S. Open, and then she suffers a huge upset loss to Roberta Vinci in the semis. Uh, 2018, Conor McGregor brings out Drake before his bout with Habib Nurmagomedov. Conor was knocked out. Oh, let's do a little more recent. Yeah, 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 2019, yeah. just a few months ago, Alabama football tweets out Drake in full support of the Tide. Yeah. And they were pummeled in the natty five days later. Drake, give yourself a hug. It's not just you. Justin Bieber was blamed in <laughs> April for the Maple Leafs losing to the Bruins in Game 7. And the Bruins... Gary Sanchez hit a tie-breaking dinger, and six Yankee relievers combined for five and a third scoreless innings to take down the Red Sox for the fourth time this season, their best season start in the matchup in seven years. Not only have the Bombers won 15 of 18, they now hold a nine-and-a-half game lead over their rivals. I've decided to nickname Drake Bomb Threat because when he comes into a room, everyone's just going to scatter. He's like, nope, nope. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After his peak troll job of wearing a Dell Curry jersey, yeah. if Draymond or someone doesn't wear like an Anthony Joshua, like a like a like a robe or something to troll him back sure. today, then they aren't doing it right. Did I read somewhere that he covered up Kevin Durant and Steph Curry date? Yeah, tattoos? he had yeah he had like tape or something or like a sleeve so that you couldn't see that he has those two tatted on him as well. Most importantly, kids, those are your half hour headlines. No. No. So you'll just let them free. I mean, they are what they are. You've got you've got some significant. You got yeah, a little Teen I mean, Wolf. Look, they are what they are. This is. Wow, it's yeah. like, it's very long. You could braid see, it. Look. That's, incre that's incredibly impressive, Matt. Sorry, Norby. Uh, more Sports Center. I'm just going to tease us because we're coming back. I've heard. Of You've heard of them, them haven't mm -hmm. you? Yeah, I've absolutely heard of both of them. All right, so if we've learned one thing in the NBA postseason, it's that we shouldn't declare a series over or even in trouble after game one. A quick refresher, if you will. The Bucks were up two games to nothing on the Raptors in the Eastern Conference Finals. You remember that? There were some who declared the series over. Yet, here are the Raptors. It certainly was not me that declared it over. But the Warriors, they're not worried. It's all about confidence, as Mark Schwartz tells us in this golden state of mind. About that when we go over to ESPN2, because right now it's E60 with Jeremy Schaap and Lisa Salters. You got it all. <laughs> The Golden State Warriors and nickname seem to go hand in hand. Their winning ways have led to the boys from the baby and simply dubbed the dubs. Yeah. And even though they hail from Oakland, Warriors fans commonly refer to the city as the town. However, Matt, long before Steph, Clay, and KD repped the blue and gold, it was Tim, Mitch, and Chris who pioneered the up-tempo, high-scoring onslaught that led to the Warriors' original Big Three, earning their own nickname that was inspired by hip-hop pioneers Run DMC. And this week's SC feature, Scoop Jackson, is on the wiki wiki. Oh. One and two is taking us back 30 years to 1989 <laughs> when Run TMC changed the game. Wiki wiki. Love that walk down memory. Let's stop it. Why do you, uh, little known Ugh. fact, Daryl McDaniel, he can't be stopped. Better known as DMC of Run DMC, raps in their hip-hop classic, Suck at MCs, I'm DMC in the place to be. Oh, that, I go but that, to St. Okay. John's University. 
Yes, it is okay. When Chris Mullen actually met DMC before that 91 playoff game against the Lakers, he pulled out his wallet and he showed Mullen that he went to St. John's too. The two had attended St. John's University, where Mullins is still the all-time leading scorer at the same time. They were there together. And as the Warriors close down Oracle Arena this season and move on to their new digs, the Chase Center, they may be in the market for another catchy nickname. Wait, wait, oh, wait. Are you going to end by going? <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I don't even know what to say with you um, anymore. So Tony and, and Jay are over there hanging out. Get ready for their show. I presume they're going to talk about game two of the NBA Finals over have, on ESPN. I have a feeling. Bruce no. Bowen's here. Yep. Not only does he manscape, he's got the Yo. shiny fingernails. He's got the prettiest fingernails that you have here ever seen in your life. Here comes Jay. Jay, come say hi. Hi. Hi, Jay. Hi. Do you manscape?